Hello, this is a safety video on our Rockwell drill press. Remember, when we're working with power tools, there's nothing more important than these safety glasses for safety. Please wear safety glasses whenever you're operating power tools. For this machine to work, we have a drill chuck and we have a table. The table can have a platform on it or you can cut directly on the metal, but remember, <laughs> it'll drill a hole anywhere in the table or anything it runs into, so be careful where you place things. I usually like to operate with a wooden table on it. Uh, if I'm cutting a long piece of wood, when the drill breaks through, I know that's going to spin. So I clamp a fence on to help me locate my work. If I wanted to drill a hole, say, right here, say I wanted to drill a couple of holes, I could set this up so that the drill would be out of the way. There we go, now it can't move. Okay. So, set that up. I need a clamp and a drill. I'm going to use a drill, let's say this quarter inch bit. We have other bits located in the drawers. A large bit like this requires a slower speed. The smaller bit, I need a faster speed generally. To change the speed, open up this cap, and you can see the pulleys. Please be sure not to engage the power when you're working with the pulleys. To change the speed, I can lift up on the belt and rotate the spindle freeing up the belt. I can either move the belt down for a slower speed or up for a faster speed. For this size drill, I'm going to move it up a slot, which means I'm going to put the belt back here, get it wrapped around, and again, I'm turning the spindle, making sure my fingers don't get caught. And there it is. So now, when I turn it on, it goes at a faster speed. To operate, we normally keep this cover closed. This is my bit. This is a twist drill bit. It can cut metal or wood. This drill press is set up for wood only. The other drill press is set up for metal only. I can manually tighten and loosen with the drill chuck. We have a key which we need to use to tighten it in place. Once you're done tightening with this chucky, be sure to take it out and put it aside because if you start this drill up with the chucky in the chuck, it will throw it across the room. We can adjust the depth of cut by moving these stops and have it stop wherever we want. For a through hole, it doesn't matter as much. If I want to cut at a specific spot, say here, I can set this up so that the drill will go exactly where I want it hold it down and clamp it in place. When the drill breaks through, this fence, as long as my wood is held up to that fence, this fence will prevent this from rotating. So now, I can set up and I can use my left hand to hold the work in place. this side there's a little bit of blowout. I'll get more of the blowout and chips the faster I push down on this. If the speed is correct I'll get very little, like so. This is appropriate. If you have very fine work and want to not get that, what you need to do is put a sacrificial piece of wood below your work so that you drill into that sacrificial piece of wood. An example would be to use a board like so and then you'd of course have to set your table up a little bit differently. All that would have to happen is we turn the fence 90 degrees. And we 
again, clamp the fence down. drilling a deep hole, plunge in, clear the chips, and then plunge further. I've drilled through into my base plate, and you'll notice that this has virtually no breakout. And we're done. Unclamp your piece, get your fence out of the way, and brush off the table. You use your hand, or you could use a brush Please take the bit that you used out of the chuck, put it back where you got it, and leave the chuck key next to the drill. This concludes our safety video on the Rockwell drill press.